dear participant uh, good morning to all of you and it's the second day of our uh, ninth webinar so today's speaker is hanjabam uh, uh, subra devi hanjabam uh, she is uh, from maria foods she uh, is uh, from Uh, uh, madam, welcome, madam, for this uh, uh, webinar. Uh, dear, uh, dear participant, participant, I would like to introduce about uh, our speaker. Uh, Supra Devi, madam, is a founder of uh, Maria Foods to promote local produce. and to empower women economically post graduate in food nutrition from basantali basantali india thank you sir i can introduce myself yes yes sir i can introduce the more what experience in development sector or sharing of people or thank you
you can thank interact you. with this madam thank madam thank, thank you so much, much. and, and i'll keep some few time um, um uh, now directly i think uh, without uh, any delay uh, i welcome you madam for our this ninth webinar thank you for accepting our invitation and delivering the lecture to our uh, students and uh, participants it's a great honor and pleasure to welcome you for this ninth webinar um so madam please take your time and you can see thank you dr raja uh, i think there is a lots of disturbance coming from your end it may be because that nearby two three uh, uh, devices are using at the same time i think somebody has to mute the device or only one device can be uh, uh, on the echo is coming from your end okay just a minute i'll close it okay thank you dr raja thank you victoria for giving me this opportunity of sharing my experience uh with my journey with myra foods myra foods is a food processing unit which we uh, started in the year 2004 but before i start uh what myra food has gone through i think it is also very important that uh, the student as well as the all the audience who are listening to me also understand that from where i have come and how i decided to start this journey uh i did my master in food and nutrition from banasthali vidyapeeth rajasthan uh, banasthali is an institute uh, which is uh, all women uh, institute and uh, it was uh, and like it is still based in the gandhian philosophy and we believe in serving the people so we have been uh, i have studied there for 12 years from my schooling till my post graduation and my the whole uh, brought up and uh, my mind ma uh, like um, makeup was for this uh, uh, the serving the people so uh, the day i finished my uh, post graduation from the institute banasthali vidyapeeth i came back home with the hope that i'll be working for the people here in manipur but i i was also looking for the government job where i can reach to the maximum number of people but that was a time in 1990 where government was not uh, like opening any vacancies and it was all vain even the like uh, the job was uh, job vacancies were all uh, locked uh, during those period of time so instead of just sitting quiet and waiting for this opportunity i decided to join ngo so my first job was working with the ngo in ngo sector where um, uh, infal east one infal infal east two infal waste and and waste two was one of our project area with the cvtc i was working uh, citizen volunteers training center is a organization with which i was working in a very early period of my time in 1990 and the, during those period of time i was uh, doing lots of uh, this training on food processing to these people Uh, to make them understand that what the fruits and vegetables available with them, and in the season when there is a plenty of these fruits and vegetables available, how they can preserve that and save for their future, and also they can make a value-added product so that they can earn the extra for themselves. So that was part of my job during those period of time. Then later on, I also joined uh, All India Radio, where also I was broadcasting lots of this. Uh, uh knowledge to the people uh, like sharing my knowledge on this food processing as well as preserving fruits and uh fruits and vegetables uh that my journey went on till 2003 during this period of time i also realized that just giving a knowledge and giving training is not enough to the people to the public what is more important is that you show them that how viable the project is how you can earn and maybe in a very small way you have to start and show them people believe in seeing not just listening so in 2003 till 2003 march i was working with one ngo uh, called uh, development of human potential which based on the training institute it was a training institute we were giving lots of uh, training on development theories so i left the job and started a new organization uh, organizing a people 
uh, who have uh, completed their education and uh, were looking for the job and not able to uh, start or give uh, employment to themselves. So we were uh, like, it was more on the brainstorming kind of thing among our members that how we can uh, like start a job or give a job to ourselves. So uh, we were um, skilling ourselves first and also looking for the market avenues, opportunities that where we can start our job. So uh, among our member itself, uh, we have started trying out on a lot of uh, fruits processing as well as uh, handloom embroidery and many other sectors where our members were interested in. So food processing was one of, one of my uh, interest area and being a member of Association of Food Scientists and Technologists uh, since 1992, uh, all of uh, the food processor as well as the uh, food technologists uh, were all around me. So I was very comfortable in that field. So I decided I'll go with this food processing. But uh, unfortunately, uh, by that time, it was almost a year, uh, I quit my job and all my savings were also uh, gone down. So I, I didn't have enough money in my hand. Even when I approached the bank, they were reluctant to uh, give uh, this support because they believe that, you know, like uh, you have to show them that you have been doing business from last so many years. And because it was a very new venture for me, I haven't started in doing anything. So I decided that instead of asking a help from bank, I'll just start with whatever I have. So uh, it was in the, in the year 2004, January, month of January, uh, I, uh, we had a training with this, uh, uh, this uh, it, it was a SISI during those period of time, it was called MSME, uh, MSME DI. Uh, uh, this, uh, this is a training, it's a micro, small and medium enterprises development institute. Uh, they were giving lots of training. So we have tied up with them and have a, tra a training with them. And uh, after the completing that, uh, after the completing that uh, training, uh, on the last day of the training, I, I announced to this uh, people, those who have participated, that whoever is interested to working in this field and because I'm going to start a unit and you can join me. So out of those 30 uh, women who participated in training, only three of them turn up. And that three was my, uh, the first, you know, like employee uh, for the Mayra Foods. Uh, at the beginning, we didn't uh, call ourselves Mayra Food. It was more of uh, what we call was that uh, Manipur homemade food product. And we were um, also thinking that we'll start from the home at the home scale level and a very small scale. We'll try out new things, a new product. Instead of this, what is available in the market, we'll try out new things and what our people are looking for. So uh, that was a very uh, beginning stage. Uh, so I just spent, it was, uh, uh, I must say that it's a zero investment, just a hundred or 200 rupees of the investment at the very beginning, because uh, we didn't buy any equipments, we didn't uh, hire any place, we use our own kitchen. So my kitchen was my first workplace to start my business. Uh, just after completing your morning meal, uh, that ho whole day you find that your uh, space is empty. So that was the best place that I thought that this is the best place I can utilize and start uh, making new things and try out in the market. So with the help of these three girls, I started that. And uh, we started from the very simple food, which can be processed in a very short period of time and uh, easily market uh, and, uh, and, uh, within a, and a very low price we try out at the market. So uh, the sachet of one rupee, two rupees was the best option that we can uh, sell in the market because people can just, uh, because new product means they think twice. You know, right? So instead of just uh, making them think, we started from a known product so that they can enter and make them understand that this is made by uh, what kind of group of people and they can try out on this thing. And if they believe on that, they will definitely try a new product as well. So that's how we started. And we also started participating in uh, lots of exhibitions uh, conducted by government as well as the NGO at a different uh, uh, places uh, in, the, uh, in and around Imphal as well as the nearby, uh, sorry, uh, nearby places and a neighboring uh, state as well. We have participated in ex exhibition and we found that exhibition is the best platform that you can interact directly with your customer that 
what they are looking for, what they see in their our product, and uh, what they expect from us, and um, uh, how they want to improve our product. Uh, so that was a very uh, like uh, uh, eye-opening kind of thing that uh, we interact directly with our customers and we work on that our, on our product and that's how um, we entered to the market and the response was so overwhelming that we never looked back from that period of time. So it is almost now uh, it's more than 14 years that we have, we have completed. It's a, we are entering with our 15 years and we have never looked back. And from the day one itself, we have started uh, entering to the market. Uh, we have sell, sold our products, and the response is uh, overwhelming. And uh, even though we started in the local market, uh, try out in the local, but now we have reached to the various uh, the, that the various places of uh, India and all the cities of India, and also we are trying our market to outside uh, uh, the country. Uh, we are started exporting some of our products to the uh, to, to different countries, and we are also uh, having some uh, good orders from uh, our uh, very uh, like uh, ex uh, import. Uh, sorry, uh, the foreign buyers. Uh, why I have decided uh, to do uh, the the kind of food product which I am making today. See, uh, in Manipur. Uh, during this period of time in 2004, whatever the uh, food processing unit available during those period of time, they were more making of uh, fruit juice, uh, jam, and, and uh, some sort of uh, pickles. They were not, they have not tried on the, you know, like minor fruits. My focus went on to the minor fruit, which was available in plenty. And uh, none of um, our food processor or the industries have tried out the product on that. So my first product was on uh, Indian gooseberry. We call it Amla, Amlaki. Uh, here in my Manipuri language, we call it Hikru. We know that the Amla is the richest source of vitamin C. And why we take fr fruits? We take fruits to supplement our uh, vitamins. And among all the vitamins, vitamin C is the most uh, like uh, that uh, expected the vitamins from the fruits. So uh, we, uh, we found that uh, this amla is uh, plentifully available and it, it is available for longest period of time. The season of amla starts from September and which lasts till April. So it's a very long period and you get for the almost uh, eight to nine months in a year. And the availability, even though it's, uh, it's not a very high, well, a good variety of uh, amla, but because it is grown in natural environment, it is a forest product the availability is huge and plenty. You can try out so many products based on amla because amla is a very known fruit in India and it can be promoted uh, throughout the world uh, because of its availability of vitamin C in a very, uh, like a very uh, uh, commendable level. So uh, I started from amla salty. Uh, it was uh, uh, like, it was just cut and uh, pro like uh, processed with the salt for a one or two days curing time, then just dried it. Uh, at the beginning, I didn't have this uh, mechanical dryer. Uh, it was more of the direct exposure to sunlight. And I knew that because of this direct exposure of sunlight, the loss of vitamin C percentage will be lost. But not, it's not 100% lost, but outer covering, uh, vitamin C from the outer covering will definitely be lost, but some of the vitamin C still can be preserved. It is also a very good source of other uh, minerals and vitamins and a very high content of fiber. So Amla, we have been taking from time immemorial in Indian medicine, Ayurveda, and many of the traditional uh, way of um, uh, medicine, that it is a very important component of many of, many of their uh, the, uh, product. So this can be promoted, preserved, and people, we can uh, like, uh, like, we can promote uh, this uh, fruit saying that this will um, enhance their health. So amla is one, but out of that, uh, that uh, after that uh, salty amla, we have started uh, trying out on uh, this amla candy. Uh, another part of India, we make this amla murabba, which is very common. And it is preserved in sugar syrup or in honey or in a jaggery. So uh, it is a preserve in the uh, sugar, but uh, the transporting, carrying is again difficult with this syrupy product. 
So uh, instead of just making this um, uh, the uh, syrupy uh, murabba, we tried on this dried form of amla. So it's a more of osmo dehydration uh, because sugar is uh, just extracting this um, the water from the fruits and replacing themselves with a sugar contained. So the, with the 60 to 70 percent of sugar, you can preserve this amla and uh, still the taste as well as the uh, goodness of the amla can be preserved there. So that was one of the, uh, the, the my uh, next, second product which I tried on and it also hit to the market and people really liked it. So one of the best selling products of uh, me, Myra, is this amla salty and the amla candy. From the very beginning till date, we are selling at best. And after that, we also try, uh, started trying out the available uh, fruits um, in the in the local market and uh, all in surrounding. The next product which I tried was on this, uh, we call it wild apple. It's a, it belonged to uh, this apple family and it has a very similar taste and similar, similar look, but a taste wise, it's very sour in taste. But for making the salty a pickle, as well as uh, in a candied form, it is again a best suited form. So we also tried on that, but, but because of this uh, the, uh, certain presence of enzyme, uh, the, the rottening of this uh, wild apple is very fast, but for the making of uh, fermented juice is uh, best. And we can make many other products, we can try out many other products uh, from this wild apple, but uh, I fixed to these two products, this uh, salty wild apple and uh, candied form of uh, wild apple. Uh, there were many other products uh, which I tried later on, and uh, I also uh, tried on the, what people are expecting for. Another product which is very popular here is uh, the king chili, umorok, or uh, in Assamese, I think it's called bud jaluke. And this is the hottest chili we all know. And we have seen many uh, chili-based uh, pickle in the market. But the king chili based or the umorog or bujaluke based pickle was not available during those period of time. So the same process of making pickle with other chili, I tried with this uh, king chili and it went very well and acceptance level was also very high. And again, among all my pickles, this is one of the most liked pickle, which is still going on. And it is, uh, it has crossed the Indian border. It has gone to uh, for the export purpose as well. Uh, I have, uh, uh, at the beginning, it was more of the single variety of uh, chili pickle, but uh, we diversified uh, the uh, chili pickle into various form because we are we're also trying to see that it goes best with what. what. So um, in my Manipuri culture, in Manipur, we have been taking this king chili with fermented fish, it goes best with that. So I tried my pickle uh, with this fermented fish as well. Another uh, pickle which I tried with king chili was uh, with uh, this fermented soya bean. Fermented soya bean, we, as we all know that it's a very good supplement, supplementary food. It, it, it's not only supplement your protein contain, but also that various uh, B complex vitamins and it, uh, uh, the digestibility of the protein is also very high this fermentation process. So this is also very accepted kind of food among ourselves, uh, in, uh, among our community, and even in other, other part of Northeast India. So this also went very well. So this another uh, addition of this uh, king chili with fermented fish and king chili with fermented soya bean also went very well. Another product which I uh, tried later on, uh, which uh, like we have been trying new new thing and trying to incorporate in our production line, uh, was this bamboo shoot pickle. Bamboo shoot again is one of the uh, very good uh, and very high uh, product of uh, Manipur. It is available uh, during the month of. Uh, it starts from the month of June till. September, October, it will be available in the, uh, the tender form, the shoot form. But once it is fermented, you can keep for another two, three years. And older uh, the fermented soya bean, better it tastes and gives you the taste. So instead of trying on the fresh bamboo shoot, 
I tried on this fermented bamboo shoot and started making pickles. And that also uh, went very well because uh, in the fresh form, uh, the content of this fiber is quite strong and tough. But once it goes under the fermentation process, it becomes very soft and taste-wise also it enhance. And um, some availability of some toxic substance with the bamboo should also went lost with the, this process of fermentation. So health-wise, we found that uh, this fermented bamboo shoe is much, much better than the fresh one. So that's how we started making on this fermented bamboo shoot pickle. That's also went well. So uh, later on, we also uh, tried on many other uh, product like this, um, uh, we call it mushroom, mushroom in various form, but uh, there are certain mushroom which is, uh, which is not available in a very, uh, like in a huge quantity, it is available in very small amount. So it was not viable to try it with us, those available in small amount, but uh, it is always good that you try it on uh, like when you have to uh, like go for the marketing purpose, you have to try it on the product which is available, the raw material available in plenty. So this uh, straw straw uh, mushroom or oyster mushroom, we call it, was uh, available in plenty and it was easy to grow and it can be um, like uh, promoted. Uh, we can promote our farmers to grow because the availability of straw is um, huge in a state. So we tried on that. Uh, the promoting the culture of uh, the oyster mushroom and also we, had, we started trying on this uh, oyster mushroom pickles that also went quite well and uh, uh, we have varieties of fish available but among all the fish we found that the rahu is a fish which is accepted by everyone so we also tried fish pickle on rahu fish and uh, we have uh, this uh, uh, garlic pickle, because even the garlic pickle is available everywhere, but we wanted to create something very different and uh, with a like addition of some spices, local spices, we found that our garlic pickle is going quite well and its acceptance level is very high. So uh, that's how my, the range of pickle, I have, uh, uh, that it's, uh, it's around 12 varieties of uh, pickles available. You can check on my website, uh, www.merafoods.com. Uh, uh, even a Trade India page or in many of the website which is selling my product like uh, Northeast uh, Origin, uh, Manipur Times, even in Amazon, uh, India Food, India Field. And there are so many websites, even in uh, India Mart, you'll see my products available there. You can, uh, uh, the, the, the varieties of uh, product which are, we have created. Uh, among the fruit item, uh, one, uh, like uh, we have uh, two range of product. One is this candy form, which is unsweetened and uh, preserved by uh, sugar. Another is a salt form or it's a dry, direct dry. Uh, among candies, we have, we have tried on this uh, Indian olive also. Indian olive, I think we, we call it uh, the um, pie, uh, which is available here. We call it chorophone. It is available in the winter season and the star fruit or uh, the carambola that is also goes very well when you cut it half or when you cut in the, uh, uh, in the middle you find it the shape of the fruits comes out as a star that's why people call it star fruit that's also very sour in taste but it, it's not easy to take as a, in the, as a fresh fruit but once it is processed either you convert it, it into the uh, pickle form or in a candied form or directly dried or sun dried or in the process with the salt and dried, which, uh, which com comes out very well and you can keep for a longer period of time. And it has some medicinal value as well. So you can add those uh, fruits to the, your daily uh, consumptions. So uh, star fruit is one, which is I'm doing on it. Uh, here in Manipur, we have uh, uh, like among all these uh, fruits, uh, the imli, or we call it uh, this uh, tamarind is available in, uh, in plenty. And uh, the, the variety of tamarind which is available in Manipur is a much sweeter, a sweeter in test and it has a smaller size of seed as well. So you get lots of uh, pulp out of it. So we tried uh, this imli on making these imli balls, um, taking, after taking out all these fibers as well as the, the seed, you mix with the sugar powder and make the ball and which is uh, again very popular. Uh, Imli ball is another uh, popular product of uh, Myra Foods. And then we have uh, 
uh, we have been uh, doing this uh, uh, ginger because ginger uh, among all this spice ginger is available in manipur in huge amount huge quantity and is uh, manipur organic mission agency is also promoting growing of ginger at uh, uh, all the hill districts of manipur so availability of ginger is increasing year by year and uh, uh, one of my very popular product of Mayra is ginger candy and ginger salty, uh, the dried salt, uh, dried ginger with the salt. <coughs> my new project, uh, which is especially for this uh, export marketing, is on the, is based on pineapple, which is supported by Manipur Organic Mission Agency under uh, Horticulture uh, and Soil Conservation Department of uh, Government of uh, Manipur. And uh, the finance uh, part is all supported by Ministry of Agriculture. And uh, the, my, my bank partner is NetFi. Uh, when you have to uh, like start a business and you are planning for expanding your business, you definitely require uh, that financial support from financial institution as well as from the ministry. Uh, there are various projects available you can apply for. And uh, the first, as I said, at the very beginning, it was not easy to get the financial support from the financial institution or bank, or even from this uh, uh, government agency. But once you start trying out your product, when you are vis visible in the market and people started uh, appreciating or uh, liking your product, then it's much easier to approach. So uh, dear student, I'll, I'll always suggest that <clears throat> when you want to uh, try a, a new venture, uh, try in a very smaller way, so that uh, even your uh, like uh, your venture failed, it didn't pinch your pocket. That's I believed in. That's why I started in a very smaller way. Myra, I, I always said that I started from zero investment, or it's it, it just a business of hundred rupees at the on the first day and went on. And now the business of that 100 rupees has turned into the career business. That's possible because you never uh, look back. You always try it out and always continue to put your effort to improve yourself. So it is very important that you also listen to what your customers are looking for because customer is the king. Uh, they are uh, we, uh, the Indian in, in Indian philosophy that we saw. We said that customer are God. They, they are our God. So we have to listen to them. We have to uh, uh, like uh, make them uh, uh, please that the product which we are producing is what they are expecting or what they are looking for. So we sh we should always try to fill up that what is lacking in the market with your new product. So. If your product, you, you don't compromise with your quality and still keep with a very uh, lower price, and then you can always enter to the market. But when, uh, when your existence is visible, then always you can have uh, your own play in the market. That's up to you, that how you play with your product. So uh, I'm not from very uh, business background. As I said, I studied in an institute called Banasali Vidyapai, which is believed in the Gandhian philosophy and we believe in serving the society. And I, as I worked for, uh, for quite many years in the NGO sector, so my, uh, it was more on the social enterprise made of food is. So we believed in employing more and more people, uh, working with more and more people, benefiting, giving benefit to numbers of people. So made of food is, um, it's all owned by women all my, uh, it's more than 90% of my workers are women only. So it is a, it's a food product which is processed, produced by the women of Manipur. And uh, the, all our products, uh, raw material is, is from the soil of Manipur. So uh, we are not using any raw material from outside uh, of the state. Whatever available in the state, we are trying to consume that. We are, try, we are trying to try out on that. Because I want, as I said in the very beginning, I wanted to create a model for uh, the people, those who are looking for a job in this here, as government is not in the position of providing any job, we have to start something new. 
when you see that somebody is uh, like uh, getting succeed in their venture, then uh, the many followers will follow you. So in the year 2004, when I started this Mayra Food, the making a pickle making company was uh, non-existent, I must say. But today it is more than 4,000 registered um, enterprise which are making very similar kind of products from Manipur. Uh, uh, it may be visible in the market or may not be, but uh, the, the available fruits and vegetable is utilized at the maximum and um, that uh, the value added products are available. And uh, uh, through that, we are saving lots of state economy to get, go there. So uh, this is one of my efforts which I put in. And, my, and uh, I'm also interacting directly with the farmers that what next we are looking for, that what, they ex what we expect as a food processor uh, from the farmers. The, so what kind of uh, uh, fruits as well as a vegetable has to grow. So uh, we, we are also trying out on certain things which has to be grown um, in a, a huge quantity and we can uh, make a better product out of that and we can uh, export it outside of the state so that we can uh, bring in money for the state and uh, our economy can be improved as we can provide numbers of employment to the people of Manipur. So if the Manipur can create certain model to uh, to the world or to the people of Northeast India, other state can also follow in. As our people have started following what Mayra is doing today. Uh, Mayra, Mayra uh, the meaning of Mayra is, also, is a torch. Why I have given this name of Mayra to my venture is because as I said that it is all owned by women. And in Manipur, when there's any social evil and something wrong happening in the society, all the mothers uh, like uh, holding a torch in their hand comes out in the night time after completing their household uh, calls and uh, they do the night vigil so that those evil can be uh, like thrown out of the society and they take this, those night vigil. So when there is any problem in society, you will see that the women of Manipur are on the street with the uh, torch in their hand. It's a model of the women empowerment or it's a model of uh, uh, that the power we see in the women, how, what step they can go in or what step they can take up. So that's how uh, we have taken this name for our venture. So we call it Mayra Foods because it's all owned by women and women are uh, working with us. And it's a maximum benefit also we are giving to women. But now when you really go to the deeper, uh, like go deeply to this, uh, my business venture, even though the processing part women are doing, but the benefit wise, it's uh, the whole range of society who are getting benefit. From the very beginning of uh, procuring fruits, collecting fruits and growing of the fruits, and also marketing the product. So in the market, it's not only women who are selling, it's a whole uh, like whole uh, range of people, those who are uh, like uh, marketing my product. So all the shops are selling at a very good, uh, uh, with a increasing their turnover and, and uh, their best practice. So, so benefit wise, it is giving to all section of society, uh, but the processing and direct benefit uh, from the Mayra food has uh, been received by the women. Uh, I think uh, instead of just, I go uh, straight uh, like talking, um, I'll, uh, I'll definitely want to have an uh, interaction with uh, the student, those who are listening to me, that what they are, they want to listen from me so that uh, I can answer to their question that will be more interesting than I just go straight talk. Yeah, Dr. Raza. Stop the video also. Um, 
dear students you can ask your question in the chat box I can, we cannot stay, uh, hear you properly. It's yeah. not audible. Uh, can, can you hear me? Question? Yeah. Uh, is it audible better? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I can hear you. So, uh, yes. Uh, let me see that. Uh, is there any question the from the chat box? box question, and, yeah. Mm. yeah, let me see that. Uh, Titus Dalang from, uh, I think, K Kohima uh, to everyone. Mayra Pickles, popular in Manipur. Thank you, Titus. Uh, Uh, Titus the long and then... yeah Titus is uh, yeah you just uh, put on co a comment there the Mayra pickle is uh, popular here and I think uh, yeah here question came ma'am your role of inspiration from where oh okay since when you have started uh, this uh, uh, business I think that's a question from Lakshmi Narayan. Madam, since when you have started this uh, business? Uh -huh. It was since in 2004. When? In 2004, I started. I think at the very beginning, I said that I started my business in 2004. And I also sharing that. And then before 2004, there was not uh, much this kind of business venture in Manipur who were making uh, like pickle in a uh, large quantity for the selling purpose. Of course, people are making for their home consumption, but not for the selling purpose. But after we started and Mayra have shown some success paths to the people, there are more than 4,000 um, units now registered for making pickles in Manipur. Yeah. Madam, I have one question. Like yes, uh, if you take a choice uh, for the youngsters, even the children, Keep it a two kind of food, like uh, imported food or from a kind of a tasty, crunchy chips, like kind of a stuffs which are available in the market. Now, the children's and the uh, youth, uh, they like like a tasty buds one, like we want to protect the same thing, indigenous food, as you are making like, you are making a lot of uh, indigenous food and even pickle making also using the local ethnic food you are uh, bringing up. So how you will uh, pace with that uh, other marketed product, uh, which are sometimes the packing may be very attractive or kind of uh, taste uh, stimulant in the product. And uh, in that case, uh, this young generation has to, uh, you know, like that uh, traditional food, as you said in the, um, your lecture also, it's rich in vitamins and other things. Now, like how we can motivate the young people or how you are having this marketing device or the ideas to promote particularly to youngsters and the children to take this kind of ethnic food. Yeah. What is your marketing strategy? <laughs> uh, as I said in my sharing, sharing that uh, I'm not from B school, from business school. My background is more of the social uh, enterprise. So, uh, I was not very clear on how to approach. I was just trying to enter the market in a very easy or very you know, like simple way. Just people can just come and taste my product and if they like, they can just buy it. So that was the easiest and simplest approach I did in the very beginning. But later on, I realized that uh, people are also looking for very attractive packaging and different age group has different likings and different community has different liking as well. So uh, it is, uh, it has to be uh, from the known to unknown. So the product which they have been taking as, as, suggest, uh, so, uh, as you have just said that chips is one that people uh, like children's really like that product. 
if I can make a very similar kind of chips, which is more healthier than the, the present chips, which is available in the market, like uh, the fish uh, fingers, you know, like the crackers, the fish crackers, because a fish is one which is available uh, in plenty in uh, the state on the northeast India. So as we know that fish is healthy to food, uh, like it's a healthy food option. And um, there are some soya, soya products we can also promote. So we can focus on certain things, which is uh, which our children are looking for, liking, and a very similar range of product. If we can uh, like uh, introduce to the market, definitely it can uh, go on. So uh, we have to see that what is available in the market, what our people are looking for, and if we can make a very similar kind of product with a uh, different taste and different addition, uh, then definitely it will go in. Another thing is that it's it's more of the you know, like uh, the parenting. Um, I'll definitely say it to the parents that uh, they, 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 they should also promote the children uh, like uh, to introduce some homemade food product. If they are not able to make home uh, like uh, at, at home, but at least the similar kind of product they should go for. So the children learn uh, not from uh, the friends or not not from outside, but they that the food habits they develop is from home. That what food you introduce to them is very important. So the kind of food you introduce to your children, they just follow that. So it's more of a, it, uh, the responsibility goes to the parents that the the food they introduce to children should be more on the nutrition part and nutritious than just go for the fashionable part of it. So uh, I'll, I'll definitely stay on that line. So we are also trying to introduce a local made food uh, food product. And we are we continue to, Mayra is not only the food processing unit, which is uh, producing food and selling to the market, but we continue to give training to the student as well as to the new groups or the self help groups to produce new things, which is more healthier uh, and more uh, like uh, tastier and uh, made from the available uh, raw material from in, in the in the state. Yeah. Uh, Madam, a uh, lot of questions uh, came up. Uh, uh, can you read it in answer or can I read it for you? So please read it, sir. Uh, so, yeah. yeah. Okay, I'll read it for you. Yes. Uh, Ma'am, what problem did you face while introducing your food product in the market? What problem <clears throat> did you face while introducing your food product in the market? See, uh, because I, I think it is not, uh, yeah, uh, I have not gone uh, much to the, uh, like, outside of the state. But it is taken by the known people only. So I have not uh, like used that a very uh, like uh, those marketing strategy to introduce to the market. It is more from known to unknown. So uh, from uh, because the Myra brand is a, a trusted brand in the state. So once uh, you uh, you are already uh, visible in the state and in the market, uh, you can introduce new product with already uh, your buyers. So uh, that's how I have entered. And uh, at the beginning, I always try to make them taste, make uh, uh, make uh, like uh, the, the, the facility of tasting is available to our buyers. So once it is accepted, then it goes to uh, like uh, the pumping is go like pumping goes in. So uh, I don't find much uh, difficulty in introduce any new product in the market. Uh, I have always uh, done uh, from the local. Uh, to the uh, to the state and uh, to uh, country and outside yeah so and every uh, as i said every state every uh, place the community uh, and the country has different uh, likings and uh, the, the different preferences so whatever you make based on the uh, the place where you are going to introduce your product we we try accordingly a uh, few more questions. I think you have uh, spoke uh, during your uh, lecture. Like, ma'am, what were the opportunities and threats we have planned on taking up this venture? I think in your lecture you have covered up. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the, the, the opportunities. Were asked yes. Yeah, uh, I would like to uh, add some, some more here, here that on, when when you talk about the opportunity, 
the opportunity you have here is that the availability of the raw material. That's the biggest opportunity I see in the northeastern state because we have plenty of uh, untapped resources which have not, uh, we have not tried uh, products on that line of product. And we know that those are very good and it has uh, lots of uh, medicinal value as well. So based on that, and because it is all grown in a natural way, it is free from harmful chemicals as well. So uh, on that, uh, the, 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 the line of uh, like its opportunity, you can uh, start producing new, new product and introduce to the market. That's one of the opportunity I see. Another opportunity which I see is that the availability of uh, the, uh, what do you call, the employee or the workers. As you said that we don't have a very large industrial industrial setup in Northeast India. And uh, we are looking for job, a more secure job, stable job, stable income. And because we don't have much of those factories, we can provide them job. I think it is the best time for us that we should start a new, new venture in this line so that we can uh, give opportunity to our people also uh, uh, like a, a job opportunity to them. And also it's an opportunity for uh, the uh, entrepreneur who are looking for new uh, ventures as well. The three twice when you see uh, is that because the market is huge and we are very new to it. So it's, uh, you never know that who are going to eat you like, uh, and who are going um, like to whom you have to fight with or to whom you have to face with. So, that's why I said that instead of going to the in a very uh, larger way, where the like uh, the chances of failure is very high, uh, always try with a new, uh, always try with this in a smaller way. So when you build up your confidence in that field, then you can go for next step. So at the beginning, always go with a smaller venture uh, and smaller uh, the the setup skill you have, the your confidence area when you have a surety of market as well. So once you went, uh, enter to the market, you also learn lots of things, which is not written on your books. And yeah, in a very short period of your uh, like a college life or university life, you never get those opportunity to learn those things. So it is more on the practical basis. So once you enter to the market, you try out new things, you also, you, you also get to learn lots of new things. So based on that, you can uh, plan for your expansion. Instead of just from the very beginning, try out new things and you fail. So uh, yeah, that don't take chance of those big failure. Instead of that, go for the smaller. But uh, in the, for any venture, uh, the, you should also uh, keep yourself ready that there's always, always a chance of failure. You can take example of uh, the world leaders in the business, uh, how they have come to, the, uh, come to their existence. You can take the example of Apple, you can take example of Tata's, Villas, Reliance, whatever the business, uh, uh, the tycoons you see in the market, they have all failed in many of their ventures and they have uh, gone uh, a very long uh, journey. So the, what kind of business you want to take up is based on that and uh, you can always go uh, try out new things, but always do in a very smaller way. Uh, madam, there are a lot of questions uh, and also I think some of them are, uh, I can answer it. So I'll see that. First one is, uh, uh, what is your turnover? Uh, it will be an uh, inspiration to us. There was a question asked by Mohit. And another question is, uh, what are the difficulties that we face during food processing of minor fruit and how we can manage them? Mm -hmm. Now, I don't see any difficulty in processing minor fruits because it's almost similar. The only thing is that you have to that you have to do a certain uh, like uh, studies on availability of those minor fruits. The how much it is available is it uh, worth spending spending your uh, like uh, your efforts on that. So if you find that those minor fruits are available, then you can go ahead with that. So th there's no difficulty in that, even in procuring. Uh, they, because when I started this uh, Amla, at the beginning, I was taking in a very small quantity and I was, uh, none of the data was also available on this availability of Amla in the state. 
but once you enter into the market slowly i come to know through this uh, farmers that how much it is available so uh, the available amla of the state it's not uh, bought by uh, by me only it is bought by so many other uh, people as well but the maximum may, maybe maximum uh, uh, i'm purchasing it so the available to amla in the state is huge so that's you come to know when you enter to the market so uh, but once you come to well, once you also discover that this is uh, like liked by your customers then you can also uh, promote the farmers to grow for you uh, it may be in the at the beginning it may be in the minor form but once um, the, your product goes uh, hit to the ma market and people started liking your product your customers are accepting your product then you can go directly to the farmers to grow for you uh madam the next question is i think uh, reputation like uh, i would like to know you uh, you started the marketing of your product in the very beginning so already you have covered up that was asked by rajalakshmi another one is uh, how entrepreneurship is related to development in society uh, uh that is actually uh, i can answer for that uh, <laughs> providing the backbone of the society security to the society <laughs> no, and <yeah>. the <laughs> For any development, yeah, yeah. entrepreneurs are the one giving employment. Yes. Yeah. That was asked by Rohit uh, Tangjam. Tangjam. Okay. And the next question is: uh, I'm a student of, as well as customer of uh, Maria Food. Nowadays, nowadays the taste and the quality of uh, uh, Maria Food is a little reducing. Can you some comment on this? I think was asked by. Mm -hmm. Sorry, uh, the taste of Maira food is. It was asked. Is reducing. Can you some comment on this? It was asked by uh, Srikant Ning Ningtham Ningkompam Ningthaujam. Okay. Uh, hi, Srikant. Uh, I don't know on what product you are uh, on what pro for for what product you are talking about. Uh, we do we keep on tasting our product to the market and it is uh, maira is able to exist till that is because that we keep the taste and the quality of maira on a, uh, the same path we have not changed our taste we have not uh, like uh, we are, we have not uh, reduced our quality as well uh, quality wise we are trying to improve every year uh, and the taste uh, because it is um, it is already tried to the market we try to keep stagnant so uh, it is based on the recipe we develop it is not that uh, every day we are changing our recipe we fix the recipe for one product and we keep on making on the same recipe for a whole long year so the the king chili uh, pickle you must have tasted 10 years back still tastes the same it has not changed at all uh sometime uh somewhere the taste may change maybe because of the keeping quality see uh once a product is bought uh from us by a shopkeeper and how they are keeping our product is based on because pickle is a product it cannot be exposed to the sun directly to the sun uh, sunlight it has to kept in a uh, like uh darker places i we we have seen many of our products been displayed and directly to sunlight in that case because uh, once it is exposed because uh, the lots of changes chemical changes happen with the oil as well as the spices that may change the taste the same thing with our candies it is not 100% dried or it's uh, it's not uh, that cracky one so uh, it has the, it depends on that how our sellers or um, how are uh, like uh, you know, like shopkeepers are keeping our product it's it's very much based on that otherwise we are sending uh, our product to the market after all the tasting that it is acceptable and it is uh, keeping the quality of the product the same thing yes uh, if you have any problem with uh, any of the product please send us back so that we can send for the testing to our labs and we will definitely give you the feedback after that it will change the product as well yeah thank you very much for your uh, the, the comment yeah 
madam did you uh, that question was asked by uh, martha gay ma'am uh, did you do any training before starting your venture in northeast where can we get the training for processing mm -hmm. yeah as i said that i have done my ma uh, master in food and nutrition so uh, the food processing was a very smaller part of my course and it is more on the uh, skill development part that i was very much interested in making pickles before i started my venture i was i used to make lots of pickles and marmalades for our home consumptions and i uh, i loved giving away the the food which i make for the tasting so i used to uh, like share with my friends with my relatives from the very beginning even from the, before i started uh, this venture so that was one of my uh, hobby area that i was making lots of pickles and uh, sharing with my friends and uh, with my relatives so uh, but uh, uh, the training wise as i said that this is this was a, one of my uh, the part of my course uh, in my msc uh, food and nutrition uh, later on i joined this uh, uh, association of food scientists and technologists i think association of food Science, scientists and technologists has a chapter all over india in all the state i think your cau uh, uh, there may be many um, uh, professors in cau who are uh, the member of this society and student can also be a member of this society they give lots of training on food processing so short term training entrepreneurship development programs and um, you can organize a group you can ask for the, uh, for giving training skill training on this line as well so uh, this is uh, the one again the b schools the business schools are also uh, uh, running the short uh, short term training on this uh, kind of business because you have come out from a, a professional line uh, for you it will be much easier that you can just go for the short uh, short term training even uh, this uh, ministry of um, uh, micro small and medium enterprises msme they have a development institute called msme di in all the state uh, uh, in assam also they must be having and uh, uh, manipur has uh, msme di here and all the state has so uh, you can uh, directly approach to them you can ask them to give a training on that even icm institute of cooperative management they give uh, this kind of training and uh, even directorate of industries commerce and industries also uh, run uh, training uh, for this uh, the entrepreneur those who are interested in this skill training and there are many skill uh, training institute where they give this food processing uh, processing but for your um, uh, graduation certificate courses diploma courses uh, the cftri is one who are giving uh, training on this uh there are uh, lots of courses on that short term as well as the longer term you can also give go for diploma and degrees there and uh, cftr mysur and um, uh, even uh, uh, here in manipur university they have started uh, they are starting and now it has been part of uh, the uh, graduation program uh, uchita rashtriya uchita uh, siksha uh, this we call it i think it is uh, uh, rusa uh, where it is incorporated with this vocationalization of graduation courses is going on so food processing is part of that so along with your graduation program you can uh, go for the food processing the skill training on the food processing so uh, in future if you want to take up some food processing uh, uh, the uh, entrepreneurship journey you can uh, always go with this kind of thing so uh, in your uh, the days of your uh, schooling as well as in the days of your graduation and post graduation i'll always uh, ask my student and also to the those who are going through the courses please uh, learn the skills you you never know that by, when and what kind of skills is going to help you in future so uh that because the guarantee of job in the institution like cau or institution like uh, uh the government or in the that uh, ministry is not uh, fixed for you uh, you have to uh, look for some alternative uh, job opportunity so skill will definitely help you so try to learn as much as skill possible during your course of time yeah so uh, sir uh, sir raja can also help you i think uh, in uh, uh, the like uh, giving some skill training on food processing during the course as well sir
two more questions. A lot of questions asked by students, and uh, we'll through you, and you can answer later. But uh, uh, keeping uh, the time limitation, questions are asked. Some of them are many of our students. Yeah. I think you can reply uh, through you. Uh, uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. You you can write to me. First one is, I think yeah. Uh, how many? I'll ask this question. Questions, madam. A uh, hundred percent of God cities automatic crossing. Sorry. How many percent government subs on time process? How much uh, percentage they are giving in time process plant? I cannot subsidy. hear properly, sir. Subsidy. Okay. Are you getting okay, any okay. subsidy from government? All right. Uh, for the women entrepreneur. Uh, there are lots of uh, government schemes are there. I think you can just and uh, you can go to the uh, uh, the website of Ministry of Small, uh, uh, Micro, Small and Medium Enterprises. Uh, the the website of MSME. You can see the schemes available there. The what kind of schemes available so you can apply it there. Uh, I think even the state government, uh, all the departments has their own schemes. So you can see that the scheme available for uh, new entrepreneurs. And uh, the best thing is that the startup which is coming up, uh, the new government is uh, really promoting that startup thing. So if you have any ideas with you to materialize your idea, uh, you can work on it and uh, you can apply for the startup because for the idea stage, it is all 100% grant. So uh, just uh, from uh, rupees 1 lakh to 2, ra 2 lakh rupees, you receive as a grant to try out your ideas. If your ideas clicked, you can go for further uh, with the bank loan and the subsidy portion. Uh, the new project which I received from uh, Ministry of uh, Agriculture uh, through uh, MOVCD NER, it's a it's a promotion of northeastern uh, food processing and food products. And through Manipur Organic Mission, I have received this pineapple processing, and it is the fifty percent grant uh, I have received from government. And uh, the uh, the promoter contribution is only ten percent, and it's a forty percent uh, bank loan. And it's a net fee. Who are kind enough to um, support who who. Uh, supported me who agreed to uh, uh, the extend their support for this project and they've supported me and it is this project is going on so uh, and also uh, if you are not going for the grant and just want it uh, in the in the form of a loan then you can approach to any of the bank with this mudra if you are women entrepreneur if you are women if you are girl then uh, there is uh, there is lots of uh, uh, the support uh, programs there in the in terms of loan you can get it it's starting from 50000 to uh, 10 lakhs and now it has increased up to 20 lakhs uh, so without any collateral security without any uh, security you have to uh, uh, show our support you can get this loan uh, based on um, the viability of your project so at the very beginning you can start from 50000 then later on you can increase uh, based on uh, the, your requirement. So the availability uh, of loan as well as this grant is there in the form of many of this, uh, uh, many of the project. So uh, based on that, what you are looking for, uh, what is your idea, what, what kind of uh, project you are going, uh, you, you wanted to go for, you base, based on that, you can, uh, you can uh, search the available, uh, the project with the government. Uh, madam, the last question, uh, are the farmers in Manipur able to supply the whole gooseberry or pineapple as required? Yes. Is Manipur sufficient with a supply? Meaning, will there be opportunity for us to get successful in mm -hmm. opting for the plantation of these fruits in Manipur as a beginner? Mm -hmm. See, the supply of uh, this gooseberry and the pineapple is plenty here. It is enough uh, for the for the uh, beginner. But uh, later on, when your market expand and de demand is more, then you have, to, as I said, you have to tie it up with your farmers to grow for you. So now, um, uh, under this uh, Vandhan Vikas Yojana, uh, under uh, Ministry of Forest, uh, we have uh, 
asked our uh, the, that uh, forest department to grow lots of gooseberry in their forest uh, this plantation uh, program and women are also uh, growing lots of um, gooseberry in their areas and uh, farmers are also growing in the farms this gooseberry because they know that the the buyers of gooseberry is there and uh, where there is possible even this uh, pineapple uh, the uh, pineapple growing area is also expanding manipur has uh, plenty of pineapple available now and every year the the area which is covered for pineapple growing is also increasing but we are also um, uh, in, in the uh, last uh, in the last um, uh, 10 to 20 years back uh, the plantation of pineapple was not uh, done in a very uh, like uh, sustainable way but we are, now we are trying to promote to grow pineapple in a more sustainable way where even they they leave that farm it will grow uh, it will grow as a uh, forest uh, so in between uh, the pineapple growing we have uh, we are promoting to grow the larger fruit bearing trees as well so uh, so it, uh, so we have uh, in the future for the growth of the future we have to tie it up with the farmers yeah Hi, Victoria. Yes, okay, we have so many questions, but yes. uh, we so I know now the because time is, the, yeah, um, yeah. You can send me, you can WhatsApp me, uh, I'll share my number. Write, I think, yeah, yes, yeah. you can write those questions and send it to me. I, I'll write, uh, I'll answer you. Yes. So, Madam, accept our sincere appreciation. For Thank sharing you. your wild skills and uh, experiences, past experiences, uh, I sincerely thank you for, in spite of your heavy schedule, you are giving us time. That is a very good opportunity for us. And then our respect for you grew more, realizing that you are um, uh, employing many women's entrepreneurs, and then you are helping them get employment. Madam, uh, I myself. Uh, what is a uh, fabric of your Myra Foods? I have survived uh, more. You need to un unmute. It's in mute note. Yeah. It's a mute mode. I, I so hope that unmute. the story of Madam will inspire. Thank you. The story of your journey. I hope that all the participants will be inspired and boosted in the bus. Thank you, Madam, for sharing your valuable experience with us. We are hoping that we will be in touch with you again in the future. Thank you once again. Thank you. Thank you very much. <clears throat> So all the participants be ready at 2.15, 2.30 our session will start. Okay, thank you. Thank you, madam.